I want to thank Herb and Colin for coming in today for the interview. Thank you all so much for thank doing you. this. Thank you. He's been doing this for quite some time. Yeah, I would say many, many years. <laughs> so if you were a young one getting started in the painting arena, right. what would be one of the, the pointers that you would give to them? Be honest with yourself. In other words, what you want to paint, you paint it your way. You can be influenced by other people, which I was. Monet was first for me. And then uh, Turner, William Turner is where I kind of ended up because I saw an exhibit in DC and I'm going, oh my God, that's mm -hmm. a Turner. Mm -hmm. And uh, so get your influences correct, you know, uh, follow your, your direction, kind of stay on that, uh, look at your competition, try to be different. Mm -hmm. And that's all I can say. <laughs> I think that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. All right, all right Colin, I'm going to put you on the spot right, next. Here we go. Yeah, sure. So, what would be your tips for someone starting in pottery? Well, what I can say is when I first started pottery, I, I mean, the first two or three years were awful for me. I couldn't even center a piece on the wheel. I had to get my teacher to help center <laughs> every single thing that I threw. And um, I just I just kept going with it. I just love the, uh, at least for this method that I do, I like the contrast of having full control on the wheel and okay. making the form and then just leading it up to nature when I fire it in the pit fire. I've had some things turn out great, some things turn out awfully. So. Some things just blow up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just the name I, of the game. Yeah, so I mean, it's really fun. I like being able to, um, you know, make whatever I want and it's really nice, but definitely stick with it. Um, I mean, as much as you can, just, Keep working as hard as you can because that's the only way. I mean, I know it's cliche to say, but practice really does. Practice make is perfect. practice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It really does. Yep. It's true. So, her back in. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. The other thing that I'm going to ask you, because I think I know the answer to this, that <laughs> we all sort of have our day job that right. we do, and you are known for decorating. Right. Especially uh, at the holidays. Right. Uh, we. Um, I have a team. We do holiday decorations at Christmas mm -hmm. uh, for different individuals or customers that complete house, some commercial. Uh, Henry Clay Inn is an example in Ashland. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's a, just another aspect of being creative. That's what yeah. I'm sort of getting yeah. at. It's well, like, you know, creative interior is, here, design. is took, interior design. Exactly. Okay, that's what I was thinking. At yeah. VCU. Good. And uh, that led into sales, furniture sales. I used to be a rep for Herman Miller. I've always kind of wanted to stay with the lines in the furniture world that was design oriented. And, uh, and kept in that direction. So yeah. it's always been a little twist of, it's gotta be a little design involved. That's right, there are, <laughs> and with your pieces, you can tell there's always a little design involved. Yeah. Good job! There you go. Yay, thank you, that was so yeah. easy. Group hug, yeah. thank you both, thank you, thank you both. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you.